In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Bootstrap to apply some of the CSS stylings to your comment form and comment section in a WordPress theme. In my last video, uh, I set up a single page or a single dot PHP page uh, for my WordPress postings, and uh, we got all the way up until the point of having an actual comment section on our page. Now, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, you can actually download the uh, resource files from my website, easydevtoots.com, and um, it won't have all of this uh, template built out, but it'll be a good starting point, and you can start on uh, my earlier videos, and I think this is only the 10th or 11th one, so uh, you're not too far behind. Uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and get started now. I'm going to go back to my um, text editor, and uh, let's see. It's We checked if it was responsive, and it's, it kind of is, but... Um, it's kind of off a little bit. So what I'm going to do is um, why don't I add a row class uh, around my header and I'm just going to cut that out and then I'll paste the end right here and my page dash header I'm going to add a class of a span 8 and I'll do the same for my content. I'm going to have a div with a class of row and inside of that, a div with the class of span 8. And I'm using uh, Emmet. It used to be known as Zen plugin. And uh, it makes typing markup a little bit easier. But basically, make sure you have two divs one with the class of row and another with the class of span 8. Uh, I, I cut my um, PHP content tag and I placed it inside there. And let me copy and paste this. And I'm going to take the comments template and I'll move it inside here. Now this comments template function is calling on the uh, WordPress's core commenting template. And it looks like this. You can extend this or change it if you'd like. And to do that, first thing, let me save this. And I'll just go check on it. And, uh, Okay, everything seems to be in line now. I'm going to switch back to my editor. And in order to override calling the uh, WordPress default comment template, we need to create our own. So I'm going to open up a new tab or a new file. I'm going to save it as uh, comments.php. And within that, I'm just going to um, put a comment block up here. And I'll just put comments uh, template. And down here, I'll just put some text just to show you. I'm going to save it, switch back to my browser, and refresh. And you can see. Uh, now that functions uh, calling our template and not WordPress. So that's how that works. Of course, we're going to make this a little more dynamic. Now to generate our comment form, I'm going to again use a WordPress package that I've been using for a while. Um, it's going to give us everything we need, but we're going to have to modify it a little bit. Before I do that, I'm going to wrap everything with, with a uh, div tag, and it's going to have a class of span 8. And to use this snippet, from that package, I'm going to type in comment, and then I'm going to hit tab, and I'm going to get this uh, large block of code. Um, the first thing I guess I'll do is kind of explain what's going on here. Uh, you see right here you have a conditional tag or a statement, and it's an if, and it says if open equal to post comment status, meaning if uh, commenting is allowed on this page, then it's going to show everything. Uh, within this block of code and it ends down here so it kind of explains it for you right here if comments are open uh, show all this stuff and it's you don't have to worry about that right now uh, the next line you see is uh, another WordPress function it's called comment form title uh, what this does is if I save it and I go back to my page and refresh it uh, 
I'm guessing that's the comment title. We can change that. It doesn't have to be leave a reply. In fact, I don't want it inside of um, an H3. In fact, I'll put it inside of an H4. And I'm just going to put, you don't even have to use that function. You can just write whatever you want. I'll put comments to the colon. I'll just say that. Uh, this cancel underscore comment reply underscore link is going to show you the link that uh, you need to, that comes up after you try to reply to something. Uh, right now, we can't really test that because uh, it seems that our comments are hidden right now. Uh, this next line, if get underscore option comment underscore registration and not user ID, meaning if somebody's trying to log, uh, somebody's trying to post a comment and they're not logged in, they'll receive this message here that says you must be logged in to post a comment. Now moving along, we uh, finally have our form, and the action for this form is uh, sending our data to wp-comments-post.php and that's where you need to send all of your commenting data for form validation and, uh, and security and stuff like that. It has a method of post. Uh, next line, if user ID, meaning if the user is logged in and uh, the ID is recognized basically, it's going to show you what you're logged in as. So it'll say logged in as and then it'll pull your profile or your ID from your profile. And then echo user identity is going to show your name, followed by a, uh, I guess that's a logout button. Well, it is a logout. Log out of this account and then log out. Uh, the next thing we have is actually our input fields. And let's see, this one is for your name, echo comment underscore author. And here's some of your, uh, Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. Text for your email and text for your URL, and then the end of this uh, first if statement, if user ID. Uh, down here you have your actual comment block that uh, your comment will go into, and it's a text area. And here it says that you can allow some HTML. I'm actually going to take this out. I don't want it. If you notice here, it's kind of throwing off the whole layout, and then when you go responsive, it just does all of this. And you know what, instead of taking it out, I'm going to change, where's it at? Oh, instead of this code tag, I'm going to change it to pre. And then I'll save it and I'll go back and refresh. And there, now it's, uh, that was conforming to our design style and it's still responsive now. I'm going to go back and let's see, that's the end of our if statement. So basically that's just a real quick rundown of uh, everything we just generated. And in the next video what I'm going to do is I'm going to tweak this a little bit and modify it and, uh, and make it a little bit more appealing.